Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Mike, and I'm going to do a um, video on how to do, how to print double-sided uh, business cards uh, with an illustrator. You know, I haven't done mm, pretty much any illustrative videos um, in my YouTube channel, so I figured this would be a great time to go ahead and push out that video, and this one is going to be a great video for you guys because I'm actually including a downloadable file for you guys to use to actually place your business cards in here and do the same process that I'm doing where you can go ahead and print out your own business cards alright so this template is pretty simple really basic um, in the layers area you will see three different um, folders or layers um, that you can see one is for guides and I'm gonna explain those in a few minutes one is for back and one is for front now in my back folder I have a bunch of uh, a set of eight images and uh, on the front I have a set of eight images and as you can see this one I, I would call my front and as you can see those are the business cards alright now explaining the guides I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick um, so as you can see there's two guides set up um, one that you really don't need but I kind of set it up as like a bleed area or something like that where if you decide to have a I don't know black background or I don't know don't worry about the first guide but the second guide oh, all right so sorry about that my nephew um so all right so you want to basically make sure you when you uh, place in your image your business card which I have is a three and a half by two image you want to make sure you place it on the very corner of that guide you want to make sure when you go um, when you're in this document you want to make sure you go to view at the top and go to snap to guide that way everything is seamless and everything snaps right onto the corner of that guide so when you start placing in your images everything will snap in perfectly same thing as you scroll down you'll see another horizontal line that separates about less than uh, I can't even do the integer thing right now but you know just place in your uh, second business card um, image right there so it can line up to the very corner sorry it's not gonna let me do it through the shortcut key uh, let me see as you can see right there everything just lines up right there in the corner and you want to make sure you do that for both sides all right let me just zoom out for you guys uh, now for the second column you want to make sure it goes to you know the very corner of your design so that way everything lines up on that side as well like I said the, the download would be in the video description and it's very simple just place in your business cards and go ahead and print so to start off I'm gonna go ahead and print my back side of the business card first so there it is and I already have it printed so once that's finished printing I'm gonna go ahead and uh, print out the second one and I'm going to go ahead and show you a short video from my webcam of what it should look like if depending on what type of printer you have or whatever but I'm showing you um, the printout from my version and I'm going to show you what to do alright one minute okay what's going on guys it's me Rick and um, right now you see my printer and um, there's the business cards after I printed them out as you can see it's row by four not row by four and uh, right, I have a HP uh, Office Jet 7500, and um, pretty much how the paper loads is. Let me just take this out. Uh, how the paper loads is, you put the paper in, right? You put the paper in, and it goes in, and pretty much it comes out, you know, like this. It'll, it'll go in, and then it'll print out at the top like that. So. So if you have a glossy side, you want to make sure the glossy side is facing down. So when it comes to print, it prints out, it'll print out like that. I don't have a duplex printer, so this is my way of printing double side. So basically, uh, when, the, when the print comes out, it'll come out like that. You know, front first. And then when... Okay, my mistake, guys. Um, I want to quickly edit this. Um, so Alright, so when your image comes out, right, 
right? So both you have this type of printout, whatever, or a similar printer that prints out like that. Um, you want to make sure you put it back in the printer, right? Put it back in the printer. You will put it back in the printer, make the design facing up. Right? So put it back in the photo tray, okay? With the design facing up. So that way, remember like I said how the printing goes, um, it will actually turn the paper like this once it goes in and prints on right now what you're seeing is the white side, the, the, the front design will go right there. So that's what you want to do. And like I said, I'm just going to put that in there. Put that in there and, uh, and go ahead and print the second design. Be right back. Guys, so now we're back in Illustrator. As you can see, we printed out our front, I mean, our back card, back cover, um, down of the card. And now we're gonna go ahead and print. Remember, I said, uh, when you print out, come out, uh, you want to make sure you in, but with the design facing up, depending on you, if you have a printer that has a, a photo tray like mine, um, you want to make sure you do that. But if you're printer that has, um, the top loading feature, um where you put your printer at the top most likely that's like dell printers nowadays um you want to make sure you just you know just turn it over and that's it that's all you have to do if you, you know once the printout comes out turn it over put it back in a photo tray and then go ahead go back into illustrator and we're going to hit print again but bef when, before we go ahead and do the print we want to make sure we uh enable this um so i press control p to print so we're gonna just do that so our programs at once i got illustrator home um, I got a Corel Video Studio Pro um, and my Logitech software. So a lot of stuff is going on right now, and actually, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Anyway, so as you can see, there's the um, the preview. That's what it's gonna look like. Don't worry about the cropping because everything is set up to where it won't crop. Um, now in Illustrator, you want to make sure you hit this option where it says Reverse Order. Um, technically that's supposed to be when you're doing double-sided printing so everything lines up perfectly so if you you know everything is gonna be right okay so once you're done with that go ahead and press print and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Logitech software so you guys can kinda see the printout right there be right back okay so once you're done with that go ahead and press print and uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my Logitech software so you guys can kind of see the printout right there. Be right back. Okay, so you want to make sure it dries and everything like that. But you're doing That's it. So as you can see. I turn it over. Oops. We go focus. There we go. Everything lines up perfectly. So even if you put it up to light, you can see everything just lines up perfectly. There we go. All right. So back over to the software end, and um, I mean not the software end, but the laminating process uh, I'm going to show you I mean I don't have to show you all of that but I'm just going to show you uh, I'm going to laminate it real quick and show you the uh, end process the end result so thank you guys for watching and uh, check out the um, you know my basic parts okay? okay guys so um, right now we're looking at the final printout and this is the f the back cover of my business card and uh, the front cover so as you can see everything is all laminated this is one sheet of paper so it's not car stock or anything but it is um, nice and as you can see I already had two done so as you can see the quality right there I'm not going to show you my information but uh, let that come out uh, come on come on and uh anyway that's that and there's, there's the back so these are my business cards all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these out for you guys 
Okay, so pretty much you want to take something like this or a guillotine um, cutter and just cut those out. It's going to move back a little bit and go ahead and cut these up. And um, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and then I'm going to show you the final result and then I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Okay, guys. Um this is the final version of my cards so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn those over and um, as you can see there is my business cards and though uh, I finished cutting them out they're all laminated and ready to be given out and that's it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys uh, benefited from it you know I really you know that's my whole goal of this and um, yeah so that's that and I catch you guys later. Peace.